What's happening guys? Uh, Kenny within the pocket and today I've got another um, unboxing and first impressions video for you guys. Um, this is uh, this was not planned. Um, I had some money given to me for Christmas and um, I saw these get released and I missed it on Blade HQ so I saw it on Knife Center. Yeah, that's right. That's what the orange box is and I went for it. Uh, God, I probably shouldn't have, but fuck it. You only live once. And um, this was something I really liked. And it came in a, a version that I really liked. I'm going to use my Ferrum Forge Fortis to do this. And it's definitely um, the right kind of knife to do it because it's the same, same idea, guys. And um, if you read the title of this, you know what it is. So I'm not going to play games. Oh. More tape here. So, you know what this is. You know, these unboxing videos aren't very, it's not very surprising. <laughs> um, yeah, so, there it is, guys. That's the box. And a beautiful box it is. Um, for you guys that know what's going on in the knife world, you know exactly what this is. It is a Chavez Ultramar Redencion. This is the drop point version. Uh, the black PVD titanium lock side with the G10 show side. That's right. Um, I actually liked this better. I thought it was better looking than the Oh, the black coated blade. I actually like that satin blade look, so I figured I'd go for it. Wow. Yeah, really nice box, guys, just for the record. Um, everything's really nice. Really a showpiece type of box. And, oh, yeah. I'll keep that in the picture over here. But, oh, guys. Oh. So, the G10 has a nice texture to it. Feels really good. Um, the finish on the titanium is really nice. And nice and smooth, yet yeah, has that awesome stonewash look to it. I don't know how well it's gonna come through. You can see it there. Um, yeah, the clip, oh guys, I mean, I love the clip. I don't know who the fuck doesn't like skulls, but I mean, this thing is, I mean, guys, it's just badass. I can understand if it's a little gaudy for some people. It's big, you know? Most of the people I know know I love knives, so they're not super surprised when they see a pocket clip on my pants. But yeah, guys, first impressions, this thing is beautiful. Really, it is. Um, the way, the design, everything about it is beautiful to me. Um, perfect centering. Perfect centering. The thumb studs, really nice, badass touch with this with these grooves. Um, probably functional too. If, I mean, you're not really touching the side of the thumb studs, but pivot's nice, like nice and thick pivot. Let's see what it's like opening. Oh, God. Oh man, that is snappy, guys. Oh, and super smooth. Oh my god. Wow. Sorry, guys, if I'm reacting super, like, aggressively here, but oh my gosh. That is, like, even smoother. Even smoother than this guy. I mean, yeah, the Ferrum Forge, they, they don't really go for, like, drop shut as much, I don't think. Um, now, this, um, this model is done by R Riate Knives. I, I think how you say it? Riat? Uh, Riate. I don't know how they say it. I, I hear some people say Riate and some people say Riat. Um, yeah, done by Riat in China, but um, yeah, Riat's known for doing like super high-end production knives. Um, very expensive. This is actually, you know, $235 is, is, is relatively cheap for Riat. Um, yeah, nice. Beautiful action, guys. I, I can't express that enough. So smooth. Nice detent, not as clicky as uh, the Ferrum Forge. See if you can hear it. 
yeah, it's nice. It definitely sucks it in. Although, you know, this one, a little bit more sound, um, and it's probably because of the hollow, the handle scales that have been milled out. It's probably why. But yeah, amazing action, guys, and I love it. In hand, for me, my medium, two large size hands, uh, more probably in the medium, but really thick fingers, and I got beefy hands, even though they're relatively short fingers and stuff. Um, fits perfect, fits really good in my hand. The clip I can feel, but it's not like, I, it's nice and wide. I don't think it's gonna have a hot spot. You know, it might um, in, in long-term use. It doesn't, I can't really tell when I'm bearing down. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit here, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes in use. Um, yeah, but first impressions, feels great. Um, nice and sharp. Yeah, you see it? See it dig into my finger there? Yeah, pretty aggressively sharp. Guys, look at that. This is the reason I kind of went for this version of it. Um, I'm going to grab some paper here to test the sharpness. Um, but yeah, this is why I went for this version. This compound grind, I don't have any compound grinds like this with the hollow, hollow um, ground here and then a flat ground up at the tip. It's beautiful. Look at how the light bounces off of it. And oh man, that is fucking beautiful. And nice thick stock on this, but it goes to a bit really thin behind the edge because of this hollow ground, because uh, of the hollow grind. Yeah, and the jimping's nice. It's not too aggressive from, you know, it's nice and deep. Really perfect, I think, for me. You know, I don't love like super aggressive jimping, but this is like just right. Um, I do like the paramilitary, you know, I like the military's um, jimping. I, I do like that. I, I don't mind jimping. I know a lot of guys don't like it. I got a lot of calluses, guys. I got, I got some really nasty ass, tough fucking hands. So, I mean, jimping helps me grip and it doesn't really tear my hands up too much because of my gnarly hands. Let's just put it this way, guys. Microfiber towels fucking don't come off my hand. I pick one up and it just does not want to come off. I got to shake my hand to get the microfiber towel off. That's how callous my hands are. But yeah, it, it doesn't bother me having a little sharper jimping, but I can understand how that could be, you know, a hot spot for some people. Eh, sorry about the noise. All right, uh, some, some recycle paper, not like my other one, but let's just, let's just see. You guys can hear that. I can go as slow as I want. Very nice. Pushka. Yeah, no pushka. Just gotta get it initiated. Wow, very good. God, fucking hair on my arms, guys. I gotta stop doing that. It's popping them. Really sharp, popping hairs. So, Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys. Um, I got a problem. You guys know this. We all do. But um, really nice. I'm not sure if I'm going to release this, but you guys are going to tell me if I release this or not with my next video. So you've already known that then. But yeah, really nice. And um, super excited about this guy. And I am getting damn near really close to getting a fucking custom, guys. These these knives are just killing me. This is like, this is where it's going. And I'm gonna have a video coming out here shortly that'll talk about that. But, oh, nice guys. Really, really, really happy with this. And um, look forward to using it. Oh my God, yeah. Anyways, all right, have a great day guys. And um, thanks again for everything. I really appreciate everything. Uh, your likes, subscribes, um, comments, everything. Thanks, guys. Have a great day and happy holidays. Guys, uh, there was something I noticed that um, right after I sat down with the knife, um, after I did the unboxing, and I didn't notice this in the video but um, when I was unboxing it, but I did notice right afterwards. Just wanted to show you guys. Didn't have time to set the tripod back up. Look at the backside of this grind. 
I mean, it's fully flat. Talk about a smile. Um, <laughs> I don't... I don't think this was by design. <laughs> uh, I think they did not go far enough with the plunge grind. So it's just something, you know, I mean, on a $235 knife, you would expect them to finish the grind out and make sure that was plunged out far enough. Well, I mean, uh, that was ground out far enough to accommodate for the plunge grind. One thing I'll say is this thing's so smooth. Look at this. When this thing drops, it's actually a good thing that's not sharp because probably go through my fingernail. That's what I call knife, knife chicken. Try and get your finger out of there before the knife chops your fucking nail. But yeah, it's kind of nice that it's blunt just because it doesn't destroy my nail when it's dropping down. But this thing is so damn smooth. You know, it's a little thing, guys, but I'm definitely going to fix that. Also, I wanted to show you um, one of my good buddies that I hadn't seen since because I was out of town. Uh, he surprised me with something that I really needed. Oh boy, guys. <laughs> this thing is so badass. I've been wanting to get one of these and I ran out of space in my knife rolls I have. Um, I'm not going to open it with one hand, but yeah, you guys know what's inside. This is like the large one too, so I've got plenty of room now, guys. Here's 2019. <laughs> uh, I, I gotta get rid of some knives too, guys. This is, I got a problem, as we all do. But anyways, thanks guys, thanks for watching. I uh, thought I'd show you that because it's kind of important. Um, Should have looked at that when I unboxed it, but other than that, the grind's pretty good. It's a little uneven at, in spots, like a little, little bit uh wider there and stuff but no big deal does have a beautiful finish though yeah that's it thanks guys have a great day